19, I think about in the 19, late 70s, I saw a movie called Endless Summer. It depicted some young California kids with their surfboards traveling the world looking for the endless uh, summer, no winter, and the perfect wave. It captured my heart and I thought, well, that's me. Traveled for two years through Australia, Southeast Asia, uh, Bali, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and ended up sailing down to a small island called Mauritius. And this island had great surf and great diving. I surfed there, dived there, lived with the local Creole fishermen, Simon and Danielle de Dun, in a place called Tamarin Bay. Are we going diving tonight? Diving tonight? Yeah. Oh, the weather doesn't look so good. That's good. Okay. As we rode down there, you could see the fluorescence in the water. You know, you lift the water up and the fluorescence is just sparkling. Beautiful night. And we came down to Rivière Noire, which is on the outer reef, and dropped in. And we started um, getting crayfish. If this is the best you can do, I'm going back to New Zealand. Hey, 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 hey. hey. hey don't make this, man. Peter? You will wake up the shark. <laughs> no worries, mate. It was quite dark because the clouds were coming in, so there was no real moonlight, and there was a little bit of a chop on the water. diving uh, on the island, they told me to night dive. Here's a dive on the outer reef. And as we dived, we'd, we'd look with our diving torches because the crabs and the crayfish would come out. And with your torchlight, you could blind them. And with your leather gloves, just pick them up.
So I looked around the water and started making out these jellyfish, box-shaped, finger-like tentacles. I thought, well, is that, a, is that a jellyfish? Yeah, it must be. So I reached out, and sure enough, it was a jelly. As I swam through, I had no idea that I'd just reached out and grabbed potentially the deadliest, some say the second deadliest creature known to man, a box jellyfish, obviously, because it's box-shaped. But it's transparent, bell-shaped, with cube, like a cube underneath the bell, with finger-like tentacles coming out. I actually thought it was like a transparent cuttlefish, or a, it was a very unusual looking jellyfish. Something smashed in the arm and stung me. And it felt like thousands of volts of electricity went through my arms. It literally shook me in the water. As I swam towards them, I started getting stung by more. He got hit a fourth time. paralyzed, trailing the water, got hit with a fifth one. As I felt that, I thought to myself, what on earth have you done to deserve this kind of punishment or payback? I had a flood of memories of stuff that had done wrong in my life. And here I am thinking, well, there's no use thinking about that, whether I deserve it or not, I'm dying. I better keep my head together here. As the young boys pulling me through the lagoon, I'm sitting there as calm as possible, but I feel the poison move into my kidneys like someone stuck their fist into my back as the poison continued to move down the right-hand side of my body. As I hit the beach, the young boy motions for me to get out. I take one step forward and my right leg crumples underneath me and I realise the poison has already numbed or paralysed the right-hand side of my body. And this young kid carried me up across the sandy beach, which is really hard. Amen. Amen. Uh, man. Uh, yeah. Amen. Uh, right. Man. Uh, Amen. Amen. Amen.